So I figured I'd make a short video to explain exactly what happened. At CWL Sydney number two, we went out on the Sunday night to the casino. Um, I hadn't been drinking, hadn't done anything, you know, crazy. I got back to my apartment at about 2 a.m. after dropping uh, Monza and Cody and them off. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, I was outside having a cigarette on the top balcony. However, the sliding door was locked. I don't know how it locked. It locked itself after I went outside. I think maybe it was just a little bit of one of those little hook latches. And I think it was um, it was locked in the lock position. When I closed it, it leaped into the actual locking mechanism and I couldn't get back in. My phone was inside. It was 2 a.m. in the morning. I had no options apart from one that I saw, which was climb over my top balcony. So the balcony I was on is up here and the bottom part of my apartment sort of had like a bit of a balcony outside of it like that. So you could sort of get down to the actual balcony itself. Then the other edge was way out here. So, you know, there was, it looked feasible. It didn't seem that far. From upstairs, it probably looked to be about, in my opinion, about three to four metres. Um, I thought, well, you know, I'm 188 centimetres in, in height, so that's almost two metres, so I can cut it down to about a metre, metre and a half of drop. I thought, it's doable. Um, I didn't have any shoes on, though, and obviously being concrete, um, plus your body weight falling, you know, for those that know physics, then obviously you do fall pretty quickly. Um, with gravity involved, plus the heavier you are, the faster you will fall. So it's, or the, or the, sorry, the more impact you will have. Um, it's just one of those things. Then obviously I ended up getting taken to hospital. Some of the actual COD players saw me at the front and the ambulance getting taken away. Uh, I ended up having multiple fractures to both my heel bones in my feet. And that's, co that's caused me to be non-weight bearing for eight to 10 weeks. And it's going to also be, you know, a bit of a rehab situation where it'll be about 12 weeks in total before I'm fully back on my feet and back walking properly again. Uh, I probably will have to get crutches just to sort of help with the weight bearing once I am on my feet, but I am uh, in a wheelchair for the time being. Um, you know, you don't really sort of think about it too much unless you are in a wheelchair yourself of how hard things are, just simple things in life. Um, you know, just, just getting in and out of the house, going to the toilet, going for a shower or a bath, just those little things, you know, it sort of it really has been an eye opener. It's been just over two weeks now and I'm... You know, I, I I feel so much for those that are in a wheelchair permanently. Obviously, they they sort of do get used to it, and their houses are modified in a way where things are easier. But it's still nothing that I'd wish on anyone. Um, it's it's it is hard. Um, but obviously, I'm doing it day by day, and um, getting through it. So that's about it. That's all that's really happened. Um, there's a dog barking for some reason. Cut it out, bloody dogs. Um, stop barking. I don't know what she's barking about. Growling out there for some reason. D. Quiet. What are you barking about? Look at her. What are you barking about, eh? Coming in here growling like that. Um. So yeah. So that's what's happened. Uh, a bit of a short and sweet video. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, I am doing well. Went and saw the specialist again today. He said surgery still not an option. Still doesn't think it's needed. So I'm really happy about that. I was concerned that uh, the weren't, fractures weren't going to be healing properly and he would have to look at surgery again um, because that'll put him back even further, obviously. But, you know, it's worked out all right. And so hopefully it keeps going that way. That's about it. I just wanted to give you guys a rundown of what actually happened. Um, yeah, it was a good odd ordeal, I guess, in the end. Uh, I learned that my, my private health, which I've never had a chance to use and I do pay for a fair bit, has actually come in handy. Uh, so, you know, if you do have the option to, to afford private health cover, I strongly recommend it. Otherwise, be sure to have Medicare and, you know, you can get covered by the public system as well. Um, the public system can be a bit of a pain. And, all, you know, people who are in private health would see it as a business. It is a business in a way because you are paying for a service. Uh, but, you know, just the way that I was treated in the private hospital is amazing. Uh, so my hats off to all those people there at uh, St. Andrews, which is where I stayed for a short while here in Brisbane. But I'll be in Brisbane for a while now. Hope to see you guys around again soon. I'm going to do my best to make it to the last chance qualifier in Melbourne in July. I should sort of be on my feet by then, hopefully, as well. So let's look forward to that. And that's about it. Any questions, be sure to hit me up on Twitter, as always. Bye, be acid. I'm out.